TLDR, too long, didn't read. Summary sits at the bottom of your email. This is slightly different. TLCBATR, too long, can't be asked to read. A little video summary of the blog that I've just posted. Beyond lip service, embedding EDNI into recruitment DNA. EDNI, equality, diversity, and inclusion, represents foundational pillars within any organization. But despite the abundance of discourse and the hefty investment that organizations take in regards to setting out their vision and their commitments, I think there's a glaring gap in the practical application, particularly in the critical area of recruitment. Peter Drucker said, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. And I fundamentally believe that as your recruitment focus goes, so your business grows. So of course, in your standard process, diversity is captured and tracked. But what if you're using third parties? What if you're engaging an agency or an RPO, be it to help with volume shortages you may have, or indeed niche or specialist roles, or senior management roles? Those areas that traditionally, unfortunately, show least diversity. How are those agencies actively helping and supporting you in regards to living up to those stated aims in regards to your EDI? And if you've got a blind spot there, then I can assure you that that's the place that is actually having the most detrimental effect on your diversity across your organization. So at Harbour, we created a function. I think it's unique. Let me know below if you disagree. To track and evaluate that by requiring the PSLs to upload the shortlist information. And then we will reach out to those candidates, which number one confirms that actually they are real candidates who are truly engaged in the process, but also will capture their DNI information. This is then able to be tracked through proving that actually the agencies are on side with you, but also seeing where that process goes. Now, of course, there are plenty of excuses I've heard over the years in regards to expediency or the agency won't allow us, etc. I'd suggest that actually, if you're establishing an appropriate and business-like partnership with agencies that are supporting you, and they hold to your aims in regards to ED and I, let alone other aspects of trying to get the right people in to the, actually m m propel your business to the future, then actually they will play ball. It's also true that you can take a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. And I've seen plenty of examples, unfortunately, with organizations that we do work with, where ultimately there's a backdoor to get somebody through a process where they're not capturing that information. But hey, I also truly believe that there are plenty of recruitment leaders and talent acquisition partners who ultimately put truth and integrity as a non-negotiable and understand the reason for EDI and all of those uh, approaches and policies around that. It is pivotal for a healthy corporate outcome for your EDI integration to help you achieve those goals. So I challenge you to challenge more of the recruitment technology providers that you're working with to make your EDI consideration part of the very DNA of your recruitment tech stack and make EDI an actionable truth, not just a snappy slogan.